Hey guys, um, I'm currently at KLIA. We're currently checking in for the Japan flight. Yep, that's my brother. And um, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna board on a plane soon and um, have like a light meal after, and hopefully there'll be good newbies on the plane. So we went to the Plaza Premium Lounge to chill for now. This lounge is chilling with my brother. He's over there playing with his phone. Yep, trying to connect to Wi Fi. Well, I am just screaming to be over here. Um, parents are watching football at the moment. It was an Arsenal match that day, and Arsenal won. Yay! So, we're waiting to go on the plane right now. The queue is so long. So, I sat with my sister on the plane, and we had apple juice at the start. It was raining really heavily before. Parents are having a comfortable time reading and my brother as well. So we took up after and the night view is amazing. Oh my god. And time for me to sleep now. Good night. Woke up in the morning and watched Pacific Rim. Checked out the sunrise as well and I love it. It's just so colourful and so pretty. Mom slept happily on the plane and we arrived at Kaido like 8 hours later. Flight was good and landed safely. Hey, so I am currently waiting for my tour because I'm in a tour and people are not here yet. So yeah, it's going to be a long wait I think. Um, Japan airport's really nice. There's like a lot of like really clean stuff and they're really like friendly with like advertisement and everything. So the guy on the left is my tour guide and the woman on the right in red is his assistant. So we played with the machine when we first arrived and the coke in Japan tastes different to other cokes in other countries but it tasted nice. So that's our tour bus for the whole trip and it started snowing. So right now I'm on the bus right and before we went to like the supermarket to like um, grab some food. So I got this really nice drink. The brand of the drink is called Kirin and it's a really nice tea, very cooling. Got like the sushi as well uh, where you wrap it yourself with the seaweed and my brother got like this orange juice. So the first destination was to Lecturia. So Lake Toya is the northernmost lake in Japan that never freezes no matter what the season is like summer, spring, autumn or winter and it is also the second most transparent lake in Japan. So we have like scallop rice and also like the hot pot, like a little shabu shabu going on over there with like tempura and other meat. There's this like red mountain next to us and I've no idea what it is but it seems to be active. Maybe it's a volcano. So I'm currently in an ice cream shop and they have three types of flavors of the ice cream. So Hokkaido's ice cream is known to be one of the best ice creams in um, Japan. And the current flavor that I'm having now is melon and milk. There is three flavors in total, so you have milk, melon, and a mixture of milk and melon. So yeah, mm. it is really good. Like the melon's really flavorful, so I would think I'll go for the melon more next time. Tried out the scallops as well. They were like juicy and very delicious. Went up Mount Uzusan after. So I'm at the top of Uzu Sand. It's snowing really heavily right now. So the snow's like kind of like hitting on me right now. Hey, kind of 
like a mini toboggan thing on the hill and I got really clumsy at the start so I accidentally bit into this random lady which I really apologize to and my sister got clumsy over here <laughs> and the three of us decided to like slide down together but my brother kind of like got himself into this bush which he got stuck onto <laughs> And we decided to like play it backwards now, which was pretty fun. And we managed to bring mommy into it, so it was kind of funny watching her play. So the next stop was this bear ranch that we went to. So the bears here are really cute, they'll be like waving their paws at you and they want to get like apples or like biscuits from you so you get them and then you throw it to them after and they'll feel like really happy and satisfied. The two bears over here are like fighting for their food and there's also baby bears from 1 to 2 years old locked in cage. We are currently next to Naboru Betsu Hot Spring and we are looking at Jikokudani, so it's known, also known as Hell Valley. So Naboru Betsu Hot Springs main source of water mainly comes from here. Just do be careful though when you walk around because the ice is really slippery. My brother ended up like falling on the ice. There's also like a big bunch of crows like flying around, like a whole group of them, which is like really weird because I haven't seen it before. So we stayed at Daiichi Takimotokan Hotel for the night. They had this winter festival going on for the little kids, so there's like heaps of games and prizes to be won for them. I just got into my room and we're gonna have a tatami tonight. The room now is set up as a living room sort of style with like little cushions and everything. We just changed into our yukasa and this is how it looks like. So it's like this maroon jacket on the outside because it's winter. The yukasa is a stripy color. Um, so it looks like that all the way. It's onto my legs like there and I'm just gonna get like the shoes. So if you bear with me, the shoes are over here. So this is the dinner hall where we have our dinner for the night. Uh, most of the people are changing to their yukatas and walking around like happily and comfortably. Um, the dinner booths are really cute because they're decorated like really detailedly. So if you want to go to like the ramen booth, there's like a little corner for you to go. And if you want to go to like the drinks bar, there's like a little drinks booth for you to go to as well. So this is like just a part of my meal for the night. Um, I ate more than that obviously but I got too lazy to film. And the best part of the meal for me was the snails. Oh my god, they taste so good. <laughs> So I have no idea what's going on but apparently it has to be something to do with New Year's or something where, I don't know, it's like a little celebration in a tower. 
tried out the hot spring water and it tasted really weird. According to my brother, it tasted like, I don't know, some guy peed in there or something because it tasted a bit salty. I preferred the fresh spring water more because it was like refreshing and tastier. Went to the hot springs as well and had a really good time there. I couldn't film in there unfortunately because everyone was naked but it was warm and my body felt really good after. So that's all for today. Bye guys!